The crew of the Hawaiian canoe Hukulea greet sixth graders from Northumberland County and Tangier Island with a traditional Hawaiian welcome chant. The kids from Northumberland are immersed in a two-year program, learning about what can be done to save Tangier, a small island of roughly 400 residents in the Chesapeake Bay. The community problem solvers in Northumberland are, pro are, raising, are raising awareness for Tangier so that they may build a living shoreline and a breakwater strategically placed so that they can have more time on the island. The group invited representatives from the Norfolk District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, who have a jetty project in the works on the island, to accompany them on the trip. The trek coincides with a visit from Hokulea, which Nanoa Thompson, president of the Polynesian Voyaging Society, says has been traveling around the world, exploring, learning, and raising awareness about the effects of sea level rise. On this particular voyage, it, it's trying to be responsive and, resp and responsible for the things that science is telling us. It's predicting, it's the forecasting of, um, of, of uh, just the direction of the earth and uh, you, you're not going to be able to protect what you don't understand and you won't if you don't care. Caring isn't a problem for these sixth graders who, according to their advisor, started out having some interesting concepts to try and save the island. They've gone from wanting to bring some, one parent's excavator over to fix everything to learning that you need permits. They've gone to a board of supervisors meeting to learn government. They've had a webinar with Army Corps. Colonel Jason Kelly, Norfolk District Commander, told the children he believes they will be a part of the solution to not only Tangier, but sea level rise issues in the future. The fact that you all, though young, though many days before you are talking about it, is a way like so many other things, so many other tough challenges our nation's face. We'll, we'll solve. The challenge is a big one. As Nanoa points out, the residents of Tangier aren't just trying to protect their land, but they're at risk of losing their culture if their homes sink under the waters of the Chesapeake Bay. The parallels that I feel that, that, that we've seen in Hawaii and, and, and the restoration that we are in now in terms of the protection of the things that we value are very similar to what I see Tangier doing. Nanoa says he is encouraged to see Colonel Kelly keeping a watchful eye on the situation. To me, that's at the core of leadership, uh, someone that, that is uh, sensitive enough to know that there's something out there that's an issue that needs to be paid attention to, and then come and spend that much time to want to learn before you act. For the sixth graders, they learn they aren't the only ones concerned for sea level rise and its impacts on the residents of this small island. We learned basically that how much it was important to everybody. The students are wrapping up their first year of the two-year program. They will have the summer to reflect on their trip and to figure out what they think would be a best way forward. They're sort of coming to, well, if we can't raise 2.5 million, maybe we could help them get off the island a little bit. Maybe they'd have a fund where the people who really need to go could tap into that money. You know, so it's kind of evolving that way, but you never know what will happen in the fall. Meanwhile, the Core Jetty project is moving ahead and should be nearing the start of construction in early 2018. From Tangier Island, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgood.